I'm going to be working with this topo map to demonstrate a number of site related tasks including creating a tin model, creating a site plan, and working with surveyor data. But it gives me an opportunity to demonstrate the usefulness of a snapping criteria that is usually more problematic than helpful. If you press Shift X, that will interrupt what you're doing and bring you to the object snap menu. And it's here that you can set the criteria for DataCAD's object snapping. And usually, when you press the middle mouse button or the end key on the keyboard, DataCAD's going to look for the nearest endpoint, midpoint, or intersection uh, of a line. And nine times out of ten, that's the most helpful. But there is an option at the top here called nearest. And for the most part, you would never have this uh, criteria enabled. And that's because doing so causes DataCAD to look anywhere along a line segment for a point to snap onto. So that could cause you to uh, grab a point on your line segments that you didn't intend to, especially if you're zoomed out at a, uh, a good distance like we are right now. So what I want to do is I want to clean up this site plan where the contour lines overlap the property line. I mean, essentially I want to emphasize the shape of the property and by bringing all the topography lines right to the property line it's going to achieve that. So on the object snap menu I'm going to select none and that's going to disable all of my object snap criteria and then I'm going to enable nearest by itself. So this is a specialized thing that I'll do for a short period of time. Now I'm going to go back to the drawing and I'm going to clean up where these contour lines meet the property line. Now this particular topo map was created using polylines and polylines are found under DataCAD's curves menu. There's a number of different entity types you can use to represent topography, this just being one of them, but you can certainly also use uh, 3D lines, 3D contours, and Bezier and B-spline curves if you'd like. But using this example, I'll go into the curves menu and select polyline. Within the polyline menu, there's an edit option, and this gives you a number of options for modifying polylines that are already in the drawing. And what I want to do is I want to take the endpoints of each of these polylines and move them so that they fall on the property line exactly. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer here and pick my first point to move. And then parallel to the path of that contour, I'm just going to bring the endpoint close to the property line and then press the middle mouse button. And that's going to grab right onto the property line. Now there's no other practical place on the line to snap to. I certainly don't want the midpoint. I would have no idea what number of divisions on the line that would correspond with. So this really is the easiest way to do it. So I'll continue along selecting the endpoints, bring it close to the property line, and then using the middle mouse button to object snap that to the property line. So now I'm getting a nice clean edge along the property line where the topography ends. Now there's a couple of other conditions here, or well, one particular condition, where the topography lines actually pass the property line. So they're not falling short of it. I actually want to, uh, where, you know, where I'd want to extend the line to the property line, they're going past it where I'd want to bring them back. So this gives me an opportunity to show you another technique for cleaning up these polylines in this topo map. Now in cases where the contours actually pass beyond the property line or overlap the property line, I can use a different technique to trim those back. In the case of the contours that fall short of the property line on the inside of the property, 
using the nearest snapping criteria is convenient because that allows me to bring it the end point to the property line and then grab the nearest point. But with the ones that overlap I have an advantage and that is they've already formed an intersection and when I edit those polylines Datacad's going to remember that intersection so I can use that to my advantage. So I'm going to continue with the move vertex option but I'm going to change my object snap criteria. So I'm going to press shift X, disable nearest, and then enable intersection. Now because I don't want to find any other snap criteria, I'm only going to enable intersection. And that's going to allow me to get more predictable results. When I right click, Datacab brings me back to the polyline edit menu because Shift X is a keyboard interrupt. It interrupts what you're doing and then when you back out it brings you back to where you were. So let's pick this endpoint and you can see Datacad's giving me the intersection and I'll object snap that to the edge of the property line. And I can continue doing that working my way down. Now here in this condition, we've actually got two nodes which are beyond the property line. So what I can do is move the node that's closest, but I still need to get rid of this segment. So what I can do is change my edit criteria in polyline edit from move vertex to delete edge. And then that's going to allow me to essentially snip off this portion of the contour line that passes the property line. So I'll just do a few more. Okay, so here's one. I can delete this edge and then use move vertex. and get that right on the edge of the property. Now these two are very close together and I may or may not want to uh, have that condition. So I'm going to use the delete vertex to get rid of that and clean it up a bit. And then I can continue with move vertex bringing it to the intersection of the property line. Same condition here, I would just use delete edge and clip that off. And then I would just continue using those, those two techniques the rest of the way around. So I hope that helps with your next topo map. And as always, thanks for listening, and please leave any questions you might have in the space provided below.